All right, everybody, uh, welcome to part 10 of the DIY Moonshine Still Build from the Distillery Network. Uh, so in this one, we are going to measure out and uh, plumb our fittings together, or plumb our pieces together, I should say. Um, so right now I got on the table, I have the thumper and the condenser. So we're gonna cover on, we're gonna start out by you know, measuring over and then down. Uh, as far as we need to go to make this uh, connection point. So anyway, uh, stay tuned. Okay, for this portion, um, we're going to be uh, using we're the parts you're gonna need. You're gonna need your two half inch 90 degree elbows and the remaining piece of pipe that you have. Um, you This part, you might need, it, depending on how you wanna set it up, you might need a little extra than what's provided. Uh, but for me, I am uh, measuring from here to here is one foot. And so we'll just put, come in over, line up, and then down to the next, or down to the worm unit itself, or to the worm. Um, so what I'm gonna do is basically just cut about an inch and a half off of this to plumb in here, just so I can put the other fitting on. And it's gonna be just a short drop into the condenser. Um, I'm probably going to offset the, offset a little bit so it's actually plumb and level and, uh, then we'll measure up and over. So then, like before, flex it, powder it, apply heat to the bottom and further back on the fitting, going to pull all that solder inside and seal it nice. Just like that, sweat all the way around. Make sure this is straight up and down. Check it by doing that. Obviously you can see it's not. So you can kind of cheat it sometimes. You know, kind of bend it over a little bit. Just like that. I don't know if you can see that, but a lot of the solder's getting sucked into the Fitting itself, that's what you want. Don't do that. Okay. All right. So now, line it back up where you want it. So that I have it a foot apart. Exactly where it's at. Now we take our piece over here. It's almost exactly a foot right there. So yeah, like I said, you probably need another piece. Um, fortunately, I have more. Otherwise, this would be kind of a lame video if I ran out of material. But uh, so yeah, this is about right with what you got left over. Um, so I'm going to, uh, so I'm putting this uh, next elbow on and it'll give me how much of a piece I need to cut. So I got nine, a little less than nine inches. So eight, probably eight and three quarters. Uh, a drop, so I'm gonna measure that out and cut it. Okay. 
Okay, that's much better. All right, so that's pretty much what we're looking for right there. So I'm going to sweat this fitting or sweat this connection here, sweat this one here, this one here, and this one here. So my loose connection is going to be right here. You want to leave this loose so you can take it apart and move it if you want. Unless you don't plan on doing that, then you could sweat that. I highly suggest against it because then this piece will be locked in together. So uh, anyway, I'm going to go do. I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick and. Okay, so uh, we got the pot up here. Um, you can't really see it that well, but the thumper's right here. Um, we've got our 45 degree uh, sweat fitting added on here. So there's a couple ways that you can figure this out. You can just do trial and error, you know, hold it up here uh, with a 45 degree level or a level with 45 degrees on it. And then inset that or then measure this distance from right here. And then I would add probably an inch or so for uh, sticking the pipe actually into the uh, still itself. Or the more uh, accurate way to do this is you can build a triangle. So you got crossed and then your angle already. So you can set this distance between the two however long you want. And then you got your 45 degree angle. And so then you just plug those two in and it'll give you your diagonal to here. So since you're going to be connecting up to this portion, you're gonna to wanna to know uh, where this is, not necessarily where this side is, because this is where it's gonna be hitting. So. So for that, uh, you can find the center line of this, which would give you the center line of your cap. And then you measure center line to center your elbow. And that, that'll give you that distance. Or you can take a square, bring this up, so you have a point of reference to measure to. So this is probably the easier method, just to measure from where your fitting is. So it's gonna be back here. Since it's not completely touching, you're gonna add about an inch, inch to that. So hold that. Hold this level, measure from here to here. That's gonna give you 22 plus one, 23. So 23. So in your calculator, you plug in uh, 20, if you have a calculator, um, I have a sheet metal, calculator that's all you do for work you can probably find the formulas on google or whatever so you'll try and uh, put 23 as run because this is your run uh, and then as your pitch you go 45 degrees and then that'll give you your diagonal so it's coming out 32 and a half. So you take and measure this, this piece, because this is already what you have right here. Measure from 
inside of the fitting. The other end, so we're looking at this is going to be about 16 and a quarter long. So, so, so then you take your, I came up 32, so then you subtract 16 by 5 equals 16 and a quarter. So that gives you from here to here. Got shit falling all around me, sorry. All right, so now you take your uh, extra piece of copper right here and go 16 and a quarter. And you just test fit. Just like that. So now we're going to attach into the pot. And I'm probably going to leave probably both of these connections right here as loose connections just in case I need to adjust something height wise um, but yeah so that's how you do that um, I'm going to set up to make the hole in the top of the pot here and then attach my solder in this three-quarter inch piece at a 45 degree angle and uh, that's when we'll hit it all right thanks all right, so at this point, I'm going to use a speed square to cut a 45 degree angle in this piece of pipe here. So when I match it up with the cap, it'll be sitting at a 45 degree angle. Check it. It's pretty dang good. Perfect. All right. So now I'm going to mount it on the side just like this. I'm going to make a three quarter inch hole inside of that. All right. Sorry, one inch hole. This is one inch pipe. I make a one inch hole on the side of this and uh, so you can make it when you cut it at a 45 like this the circle now becomes an oval so you can take it out and trace it if you want to um, I'm going to so yeah now it's an inch and a half instead of an inch but you don't want to go an inch and a half uh, round because then the sides won't fit because like I said now it's shaped like an oval so I'm gonna make a one inch cut or one inch hole and then I'm going to snip out the uh, other half inch so right now I'm going to figure out where I want to mount this So I got it set up, um, this is kind of a goofy contraption, but it's working. Uh, this would be another part if you had a hand, extra hand, that would be helpful. Um, so I have it clamped, the cap clamped, I have a clamp that's just clamped to the table, and then I have a uh, pair of ice grip clamps clamped to that uh, to support the 45 degree one inch tube. So, this is, you know, I, I got it sitting perfect at 45 degrees this way, and then it's level going this way. Uh, 
to support all that I also had some pens and stuff to help hold it up so hopefully it stays put while we're uh, applying the solder and flux and all that hoping all right uh, I got that set again check level time good good, good. all right let's get some solder on this bad boy so we'll stay put to clamp it back on the tape. All right, so yeah, these uh, little table, or these uh, quick, quick clamps are pretty handy to have around, not just for uh, this project, but just to have in general. All right, so we're gonna put that fitting in. All right, and that's it for the cap. Um, so now we are going to attach the thermometer and the drain plug into the main pot body. So uh, stand by. All right, so uh, this actually brings us to our last portion of this build, uh, which is gonna be our thermometer. Uh, so basically what you're gonna wanna do is just center it uh, in the pot on the face on the face so you or wherever on here that you think is good uh to me i'm going to mount it just above the uh this ring because that's about as high as i would fill this pot anyway so i'm gonna make a mark this bead right here going below it i'm just doing that so i don't when I put the thermometer in, it doesn't hit the uh, lip of this. It gives me maybe, a, I don't know if that gives give me a false reading or not with this, but uh, I'm just not going to risk that. So, uh, load up three quarter inch hole saw again. All right, so I got my three quarter inch loaded up. Three quarter inch, I should thread in. All right, and then just like before, we're going to solder it in. And that was the last piece. This, uh, Thing is done. Uh, I was gonna put the drain plug in this, but uh, I don't see the need to now. Uh, the drain plug was actually for the thumper, but uh, since I added the uh, the uh, tri clamp system, I, I don't need it. I can tip it over and drain it from the top, actually. So uh, anyway, uh, I'm gonna have a closing video, and uh, then I'll catch you again. <laughs>